everyone, welcome to my channel. During my trip to Vietnam, I decided to visit a different province, Da Nang. We ended up purchasing a tour package with Viet Travel, and our first stop was the city of Hue. Our first experience was dining at a restaurant called Gongwon, renowned for its traditional flavors and cozy atmosphere. The restaurant's sophisticated interior provided a comfortable setting for us. The food was pre-ordered and included shrimp skewers, deep-fried fish, vegetable soup, and other unique dishes. Everything was fresh and full of rich flavors. After our meal, we were driven to our next destination, the Hue Historic Citadel. Despite the rainy weather, many visitors were prepared with umbrellas and rain jackets. Exploring the citadel was fascinating, especially as we learned about the displayed cannons and wandered through the ancient architecture. Although tickets were being sold at the entrance, our tour package covered all costs. Inside, we saw people renting traditional outfits for photos, with options available for all ages and genders. For an additional fee, you could also have your hair and makeup done. I was eager to try it, but with a group tour's tight schedule, there wasn't enough time. As we walked around, we also noticed talented photographers capturing the stunning landscapes and providing brief information. There was even a souvenir shop to browse. We followed a pathway that led us to a bridge and explored more of the historic architecture with our group. The Horace Citadel, also known as Da Noi, is a significant historical site in Vietnam. Located beside the Hung River, it was the center of Wing Dynasty's rule from the mid-16th to the mid-20th century. The citadel is surrounded by a large 7-mile wall and includes the Forbidden Purple City, where the emperor and his family resided, along with many palaces, temples, and offices. Built over 30 years, the citadel showcased traditional Vietnamese royal architecture. Although it suffered damage during various conflicts, it remains a stunning reminder of Vietnam's royal history and is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site, attracting many visitors. As we continued our tour, we caught a glimpse of King Jung Palace, located within the Imperial Citadel. This palace, built in the early 1920s by King Kai Din, was an important residence and workplace for the last two Wing kings. Its architecture combines Italian, Renaissance, French, and traditional Vietnamese styles, making it both unique and beautiful. However, the palace faced tragedy during the war in December 1946, when it was destroyed and suffered further damage in 1947, leaving it in ruins. 
Unfortunately, thanks to dedicated restoration efforts beginning in 2019, Gyeongchon Palace has been beautifully restored and reopened to visitors in 2024. When you visit Gyeongchon Palace, you will be impressed by its blend of architectural styles. The main entrance features French-inspired sculptures, while the palace walls are adorned with dragon motifs, symbols of the Ling Dynasty's power. Inside, the palace boosts elegant furnishing and intricate decorations. As you enter Gyeongjong Palace, you will be greeted by a grand doorway featuring intricate jagged designs and bright red doors, symbolizing the power and elegance of the Wing Emperors. French-inspired sculptures, including dragons and unicorns, add a touch of European flair. The best time to visit is from March to April when the weather is pleasant and ideal for exploration. Remember to dress respectfully and if you would like consider renting a traditional Aoyai for a memorable visit. Gyeongjom Palace is a fascinating destination for those interested in Vietnam's history and royal heritage. Its stunning restoration offers a glimpse into the past of Wing Dynasty and is a must-see for travelers in Hue. Inside, the palace exudes luxury and style. The main hall is decorated with beautiful furnishing reflecting the lifestyle of the Wing Kings. Rich fabrics, detailed woodwork, and elaborate carvings create an atmosphere of refined elegance. One highlight of Gyeongjom Palace is its detailed decorations. The palace features three grand staircases, each adorned with dragon designs. The walls and doors showcase intricate patterns of dragons and flowers, highlighting the artistry of the time. The main level has 13 doors, each beautifully detailed. The upper part of the palace includes a mezzanine with traditional Vietnamese features, such as a tiled roof and meticulous designs adding to its historic charm. Near the exit, there is a souvenir shop where you can find unique keepsakes from your visit. The shop offers handcrafted items along with small replicas of the palace and local products like tea and paper lanterns. The shop opens during palace visiting hours, features high quality items that support local artisans, making it an ideal place to pick up a special souvenir before you leave. We finished exploring and waited under the covered area since it was raining, anticipating our tour guide to lead us to our next destination. Once it was time to leave, we set off for our evening adventure. The highlight of my night was a dragon boat tour on the Perfume River. The tour often includes live traditional music. Here are a few clips that I took featuring some cultural instruments and singing. <laughs>
nhận diện vương đương khắc hoàn trong làm điều gì tịnh tăng nhưng đến người vui sẽ do nhập vi và hai sở trình bày
that wraps up the video. Thank you to everyone who watched and to those who have subscribed to my channel. If you are new here and want to see more content like this, please hit the subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks again and I can't wait to see you on my next adventure. Until next time, take care and see you soon. Thank you.